All right, guys, our Saturday strength will be a clean complex. So it's going to be every two minutes for five sets, building as you go. It's going to start off with a muscle clean. So a muscle clean is learning to drive from the hips, finish tall, but you don't get to drop under the bar again. So you just muscle it all the way up to the top is the idea. OK, so it looks like this. It's going to be two muscle cleans. So find your grip at the bottom, pull your chest up. Focus on those fast elbows, right? So I receive that bar up in the rack position. I'm going to bring it back to the ground. OK, take a second, reset. Fast elbows, standing tall. And then from here, I bring it back to the hips. And we're going to do two high hang, meaning you don't get to load the bar down to the knee. You have to keep it up high in the hips. Power clean. Same thing. This is really focusing on uh, aggressive extension and fast elbows. Two of those. OK? So this is a great drill to try to teach one thing we always talk about, which is extension, really finishing the movement with the hips, getting all you can out of your legs to drive the bar up. So it's two muscle cleans followed by two high hang power cleans for five sets building as you go. All right, focus on keeping these fast and really good technique. So that's our strength. Let's talk about partner conditioning. All right, guys, our partner conditioning today, we have a 25 minute time cap. Good burner here. So it's going to start off on the rower, 2,000 meter row. You're going to rotate partners every 250 meters. When you finish the total 2,000, you're going to go to 100 handstand push ups. So a lot of variations of the handstand push up. The, the classic would be a kipping handstand push up, right? Lower down to the top of your head and kip yourself to the top. Okay. With 100 reps, you're going to be switching off however you want. This should be something you can bang out a decent number of maybe think 10 reps or so at a time. Um, you can also do regular push-ups. So if your partner's really good at handstand push-ups and 10 regular push-ups for you is challenging, do something like that. That's fine. We can do seated dumbbell press, okay? Something like this. Okay, that's one scale. Uh, you can also do some version of a pike push-up. So you can do pike with your feet on the ground, keep your chin tucked, tap your head, push back to that start position, more challenging. Elevated, OK? But again, trade as needed with your partner. Get through 100 reps. Then you get to the assault bike. So this is 100 calories on the assault bike, changing every 10 calories you're going to alternate. When you get through that, you're going to go to 100 uh, dumbbell, or sorry, kettlebell push press. So this is a rare movement that we do. So double kettlebell starts in this front rack position. And it's a push press. You're going to dip down. And drive up. Look at the top position. The kettlebells are behind my forearm. Right, bring it back down. Okay, so take some time when you're warming up to learn this position, that rack position. It's in the crook of my elbow. So I dip down, drive. Okay, so your arms are going to be smoked here after the handstand push ups as well. So similar kind of pressing movement. So keep these light and fast. Uh, trade with your partner as needed. When you get through 100 reps there, both partners, 800 meter run to finish off the workout. 25 minute time cap. Have fun with it, guys. See you tomorrow.